I forgot that I uh, the narrative on this side is mine then. To learning mm. Umalo. Yeah. Uh, just hold on, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm burning my little daughter or adopted daughter up here. My name is Tulani Ngumalo. I live uh, here in Langa. I lived here in Langa since 2007. And the idea basically is that everywhere I've lived, I've started gardens. Mm -hmm. And uh, I moved to this part of Langa, which is called the N2 Gateway. Um, uh, my, like, just as COVID began, actually, I moved in March 2020. You know, and... Um, uh, I am always one for the soil. So the place where I'd moved from out in zone 14, I'd left a very huge garden, you know. So I thought I, w I could maintain trips between here and there to make sure I look over stuff. But it became like, besides relationships with people, what also became kind of uh, tricky was the traveling up and down a lot and all of that. And so I started looking for spaces around oh, here. In before London. you begin, what are these trees? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, these are, I don't think they're indigenous trees. They're trees that are actually planted by the city of Cape Town. Um, because we are on city of Cape Town property right now. Probably a mix between housing and forestry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and currently we are in talks with forestry, um, solid waste. Because this here, you see this space here used to be a dump. Like a complete dump. Um, I'll show you, send you pictures of what it looked like back then. You know, and you, uh, all the way that way, it was like rubble. And this here is the third load we've taken out. And it's the smallest of the lot, you know, over the months. Well, when, you know, when, when, since about February. Yeah, what are the bags for? The bags. So we've managed to connect with people who can give us fertilizer and not fertilized compost you know gov government and food growing associations that have um, people who have full-time jobs to actually um, uh, support local gardens try and help gardens form up so when I started here kind of uh, trying to change what was then like a real mess like uh, terrible I started on this small patch here, you what know. Are you, what are you growing here? <clears throat> it's spinach. It's spinach? Yeah, so this was February, and most of this has been on since February, this particular spinach. You know, all, a lot of the others have developed over time. So over like, <clears throat> that's potato. Mm -hmm. Yeah, clearly there's been no watering this morning. Mm -hmm. Now, um, so you can see that the, the leaves are slightly droopy, mm -hmm. but as you can tell, everything we've just recently harvested an amazing uh, batch of um, uh, cabbages. Um, and we, we were also kind of beginning to think we were facing the same challenges Sakumzi was speaking about when he was talking about the holes in the cabbages. Mm -hmm. So we actually had to replace cabbage lots over there because suddenly the cabbages just became, um, what do you call it, very holy. You know, but now you got to put those upside down bottles. Yes, yeah, firstly the upside down bottles. But what's actually causing the holes is the snails that Sakumzi was talking about coming now for water because of late evening or afternoon watering. Mm -hmm. You know, so less for the plant, although having a detrimental effect on the plant. I believe now that he has listened to him, but for the water. And so, how do we actually now kind of? put this thinking into action and test it out but i was still talking about that mm -hmm. so what they've done there in the one sack the blue bluish one there are the all the sacks that came from the the packaging that came when they were giving us the compost mm -hmm. and then in the other one is all the papers and all the junk that mm -hmm. comes out you know the, that from directly inside the, the 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 plots. We should say you said uh, 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 N two, but this is a main highway. That yes, goes to the that's airport. it. N two main way highway. Yeah. Goes the airport. City. Also the big old uh, the, the the Cape Town the, City. No, no, the Cape Town City is one way. Kylie, right? Right. No, all the way down we have the the film thing. The, 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 oh, the, yes. the, 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 the the big sound big stage. Film studio. Very famous. Yes. There's a lot of film filming in Cape Town, and they use that sound stage. Ah. They still got their pirate ship over there? Yes, <laughs> yes they do. Towards, as you're going to turn off, is it Baden-Powell? 
or is it um, just before Baden Powell is uh, Spine Road? Yeah, I didn't want, I didn't want yeah, to get so it's up one that. of the two. But uh, let's, mm-hmm. let's let's move just a little bit. I just want to. Yeah, no. Let me closer. start with the proper place. Okay, yeah, yeah, so okay. this part that you're looking at right so now. Yes, like. yes, no doubt. Um, so they re- they harvest now every day. Now the the group of women who work here and uh, two or three men. I'm not sure if I'm included in the three. Um, they uh, they uh, what do you call it? They harvest here because they are all unemployed. Mm-hmm. So they come and they they harvest every so often. That's why the spinach is this size. Mm-hmm. But I just want to tell the story of the origins. This place was complete black with soot, with um, people dumping old beds, old old what what what's yes, and. <clears throat> The idea is, as I started to work it, the community came out and was like, Hey, who are you? What's your story? Why are you actually um, working this garden? I mean, this land. Who gave you authority? So I was like, no, you know, I spoke to the guy who used to use that patch over there, you know. Uh, and he said, no, I could start, you know, gardening with him, you know, in the space. So, um, but then we never really did connect and also I was just wary of the fact that I didn't have proper water access for that very far apart so I started working here you know that spinach there at the front there that's where I started this potato used to be lots more spinach and peppers as well green peppers Um, obviously this is beetroot those are beans Um, this is cabbage as you can tell Um, uh, here you will see there's tomatoes. Uh, this is maize, 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 some potato. Um, and this has come as I was working the land. The community members were like, hey, you know what? You gotta, you gotta clean this place up, you know. Um, but you gotta contact the, the Department of Solid Waste first. So I thought, okay, goodness. I thought we could just organize a, a cleanup campaign and get this over and done with. But it was great to actually establish that formal relationship with the departments, you know. What's that wilting over there? Uh, that is uh, pumpkin. Ah, okay. Yeah, so that's pumpkin. That's more tomato. Um, this was a different kind of spinach. This here are peppers and chilies. Um, then uh, there's some onion over there. Let's go back here for just a second. Remember, I was talking to the other brother saying that there's a way that they used to do, they do tomatoes now in the cities where they, the vine grows up, like will grow up that, that, the, yes. that, that thing. Yes. And so if you had those things, I don't know what in would fact, happen. But it, no, it would be so amazing. If you could see the garden I had in Zone 14, that was really the, my speciality, tomatoes. They were like blooming all over the shore. And the one tree bloomed for like months on end which was each tree rather than just one tree and <clears throat> so here uh okay now that's mostly potato there at least but you're talking right that's tomato there there is a few tomato there too but it's mostly potato so the idea basically is that you must put a stem or you create this circular um what, what is it called um it's like an, a spiraling mm-hmm. um, thing, cortex mm-hmm. or vortex mm-hmm. of, of sorts. Mm-hmm. Um, this is um, parsley, parsley. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. that's it there as well. You know, we want to bring in more of those naturally, mm-hmm. and there's lots of support. Tony is one of the supports. Um, then there's a girl called Kuma who works for another place. Now. <clears throat> These are different kinds of spinaches that I haven't tried myself, and I don't know whether they've already been harvesting of some of that. Um, so, <clears throat> then, there's a, a gentleman, a fella by the name of Tony Elvin, who's, who came to Langa uh, close to 10 years ago, and uh, managed to access a space where he could actually kind of run programs. Yeah, I met him. He was working for Google or something like that. Yes, oh, yes. He was actually quite well connected. He he and Jamie... Who was that? Uh, um, not, not, uh, the guy who cooks. Jamie Oliver. Oh. Okay. Were actually buddies because he's British. Mm. Um, and so the idea is that Tony has been around and he's been working a wide range of pro programs and he now has a box which he issues to gardeners right the box 
has seedlings, seeds, sorry, um, uh, uh, en- enveloped in all 12 months mm. so that you know which ones to plant which month, what contributes to the soil's mm. richness, when, what takes away, and therefore what you must have in the same kind of um, rotation yeah, kind we, of stuff. We were also talking about uh, how you uh, plant certain flowers to deter the insects. Yes, dandelions. Um, you have uh, there's several flowers. I'll actually have to get the names for you because there's a group that I'm part of, a WhatsApp group or Facebook group that actually speaks to quite a lot of that um, all the time. There's a lot of garden support. And so after this after I started working on this, you know, what the community then thought is, how about we take over the garden, you know? And I was so amazed at the fact that people were inspired to actually run it. So now I'm no longer doing any of this work. Mm-hmm. In fact, to, for it to have expanded to this point, I wasn't at all a factor mm-hmm. except at introducing them to Tony who gave us those boxes of mm-hmm. seedlings. Well, and this, is, this is lettuce? What is this? this lettuce, yes, that's correct. Um, tomatoes, um, yes, that's tomatoes. And by now they should all have sticks. Yeah, like that, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. So it's just that obviously um, uh, at the moment, because everyone's unemployed and people are actually... Those over there are something that I seeked out and was very fortunate. Those little things over here, mm. you know. This here is cucumber. Oh, yeah. So we've got tomatoes, we've got lettuce. Why not get cucumber? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. So we're really um, hoping that something great can come out of this. You know, we're busy with but cu- cucumbers need a lot of water. This is nothing but water. Yes, <laughs> yes, you're right. Actually, which of course tells me why tonight. But the the, the challenge is that every time um, Sakumzis come here, the whole group has not been here. So I am trying to facilitate that that happens. Um, whilst of course a number of other opportunities are coming up and playing out with the Department of Parks. What's that the water Department running there? Is that sewage water? What is that? sewage. Yeah. You know, you've got the, what you call it, over on the other side. You've got the, what's it called? Yeah, the, the shafts just up the road. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, as part of that then, that's what's happening with those. I'm going to want to take some pictures of you guys here. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks for this, Tavan. Appreciate it. Pleasure, pleasure.